In this example, we're going to see how we can derive our polynomial P of D if we know the starting state. So what we have is the D transform of our sequence S. We know this can be written as P of D divided by the connection polynomial C of D. And we also know here that the degree of P of D is smaller than the degree of C of D. And we can rewrite this as P of D equals S of D times our connection polynomial C of D. And since we have the shift register given here, we immediately know our connection polynomial. So the connection polynomial can be written as 1 plus, and the 1 here comes from that C0 equals 1. And then we have plus D, which comes from the fact that C1 equals 1. And then we have plus D cube, which we have from the fact that C3 here equals 1. And since we know our starting state of the LFSR, we can also write the first few terms of the D transform of our sequence S. So since we first have a 1 here in our LFSR, we know that the first bit that would be output here is a 1. And then since we also have a 1 in the next position in the LFSR, the next one that will be output here in the sequence is also a 1. So we have a D here in the D transform. And since we have a 0 here in the last bit of our starting state, we will not have a D squared term. But instead we will have terms of D cube and higher. And we're going to write this as this. So we have a set of terms here that is of at least degree 3. But since we know that the degree of P of D must be less than the degree of the connection polynomial, which is of deg degree 3, it means that our P of D must be of degree 2 or less. So the terms that we have here, they will not matter when we do our multiplication and when we find our P of D. So when we do this multiplication now, we write P of D will be equal to, so first our D transform of the sequence, which is 1 plus D plus a set of terms that are of degree 3 or higher. And then we multiply this by our connection polynomial, which is 1 plus D plus D cube. So when we do this multiplication now is that we start by taking this one here and we multiply by the connection polynomial and we don't care about any terms that are of degree 3 or higher. So here we have only 1 plus d. And then we take this d here and we multiply by our connection polynomial and again we disregard from terms of degree 3 or higher. So here we have plus d plus d squared. And then when we multiply by this, we will immediately get terms of degree 3 or higher. So what we have here is this polynomial plus a set of terms that are of degree 3 or higher. And since we don't care about these terms, we have that our polynomial P of D can be written as 1 plus D squared. So to summarize, if we want to find our polynomial P of D and we have our connection polynomial C of D and we have the starting state which gives rise to the first few bits of our sequence, then we can find our polynomial P of D by just doing this multiplication. So we can now write our polynomial S of D which equals to 1 plus D squared divided by our connection polynomial 1 plus d plus d cubed.